So our next story, our third, uh, my apologies, COMEX, uh, Singapore's biggest consumer technology show, or one of them rather, kicked off on Thursday, September 5th and will run to a Sunday at Suntech Singapore. With us to share more, some of the highlights of COMEX 2019 is Deputy Tech Editor Trevor Tan. Hello. Hi. So you were at COMEX uh, yesterday. How was it? Oh, surprisingly, there's a lot of people. Oh, yeah. Usually in this kind of um, IT shows, right, you usually only get a crowd you know, over the weekend and be more free. But I was there around lunchtime and it was a surprise to see people streaming in the moment the doors were open. And you know, the, the passenger ways are getting crowded already. Yeah, but you know, it's easy to see why, because mm -hmm. um, IT shows and consumer shows, like tech shows like that have been getting bad rap, you know. They are known as no tech pasta mala, <laughs> no, nothing much different. But this time around, Comex 21 Nice uh, have a lot of different stuff. Uh, for instance, there's a photography exhibition at Level 3 yeah. and there will be seminars and models photo shoot and of course the inaugural eSports Festival Asia. Right, so speaking about uh, the eSports mm. Festival Asia, right, Comex is actually the, the location for the first one as you mentioned uh, and the organizers feel Exhibits has actually invested $1 million in it. Mm -hmm. So could we talk a little bit about that? What are we expecting there? Well, plenty of fast-paced action. Okay. If you haven't been to an eSports uh, match, right, you will probably don't know, but it is very exciting. It's ex as exciting as watching a football match, a basketball match. Yeah, and that's why people, um, esports fans are ready to pay money to go and watch such uh, events. Oh, wow. But here in comics, it's free. You can just go in and then witness all the action. Well, so it's, you take this opportunity now if you've never been to an esports one mm -hmm. to go yeah. and see it. Yeah, exactly. And there's like around 200 esports players around the region that will be competing in um, four tournaments mm -hmm. and featuring six game titles and there's $35,000 worth of total price money up for grabs. Oh. Yeah. So a lot is at stake. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of money involved these days if, with esports and if you're a TVB um, drama series fan, the TVB actor Sean Tam will be Later tonight at 7 p.m., we'll be having a show match oh yeah, wow. with a Singaporean pro gamer. But they are not going to play against each other, okay, which is okay. kind of a shame. But yeah. they are going to play against someone else. Yeah. I see. But it's still, still going to be fun again. Yeah, still exciting to see him in yeah, action. Yeah, definitely. Right? So, uh, but besides that, what are some of the other things that uh, you would say our viewers at home should not miss if they go to comics? Wow. Um, personally, I think mm. the highlight of comics should be the launch of the Huawei Nova 5T, yeah, because um, usually you don't see a smartphone being launched in this kind of shows, and this is more significant because Huawei Nova 5T might be the last phone that will be fully supported by Google. Yeah, you know, Huawei is, right now is not totally in a good place mm. with the US ban, right. you know, the trade war and all that stuff. Mm. So, and last week, uh, Reuters reported that uh, Google spokesperson said that the uh, upcoming flagship, the Mate 30 series, will not be supported by, fully supported by Google. Ooh. Was, yeah, they call it the Google Mobile Services, okay. which is the full fledge of Google Apps and Suites and all that. Mm -hmm. Because Android, as you know, is an open source, so anybody can use it, but which means the Mate 30 will probably be only having uh, the open Android source. So you, you probably won't be able to get apps like Maps, mail and all that yeah which is kind of, which make this launch of the nova 5t even more significant mm. because yeah and okay. more important mm. is this phone is amazingly great value for money okay yeah, price at 598 it, it has features like you know for the serene uh, 980 processor which is found in the flagship p30 pro and a whooping five cameras for the real one front facing and also um, you even have a GPU Turbo 3 uh, graphics processor which is great for gaming which is why you'll find the hands-on area at the eSports Festival Asia. So yeah. you go and play there. I can have hands-on there. The pre-order starts uh, today and will end on 12 September. You'll go and see them on September 14th. I see. I think, yeah. so, that is to me is the main main draw, and you know, people can go to the esports 
watch the action and have the hands on on, on the smartphone. <laughs> yeah. So you can do both, kill, yeah. kill two birds with yes, one stone. Uh, exactly. So uh, Comex uh, 2019 has its own website. So if you'd like to know more about Comex uh, 2019, it's www.comexitshow.com.sg. And if you'd like to experience this for yourself, you can head on uh, to Suntech Singapore this weekend. So thanks for sharing more with us, Trevor. Thank you. And those are our top stories of the day. For more news and videos, do head on to our website. That's www.straightstimes.com. Once again, I'm Kimberly. Thank you for watching The Big Story, and we'll see you on Monday.